As a preliminary step to implementing Newton's method, we're going to talk about iterative procedures in general. So, let's look at a special case of Newton's method, a method for computing just square roots. Here's how you compute the square root of a. You iteratively refine a guess, x, about the square root of a using the following update formula. You average x and a divided by x over and over and over again. Now this formula is actually much older than the calculus. It's called the Babylonian method. So let's implement it and then we'll ask some questions. The square root of a. Pick a guess. While it's the case that x times x doesn't yet equal a, so x squared is not a yet, I'm going to apply that square root update that I just told you about, which is a function of x and a. And then we'll return x when we're done. What's the square root update? Well, we return the average of x and a divided by x all over 2. So, over 2 because it's an average. So now I can take the square root of 4, and I'll get 2. Square root of 16, and I'll get 4. What's going on there? Well, let's watch and find out. I'm going to print out every x that we compute along the way. When I compute the square root of 16, I guessed 1, then I guessed 8.5, then I guessed 5 and a little bit, and then very quickly I converge to the right answer. Now, what happens if I compute the square root of 2? My program is still running because I've reached a point where I've gotten very close to the square root of 2, but I can't actually get there. I've gotten to a number, and if I multiply it by itself, I get something that's awfully close to the square root of 2. Kind of as close as we can get. So it's impossible to represent an irrational number such as the square root of 2 in a finite number of decimals, so computers just limit the amount of representation they have for numbers, and we just can't get there. So now we have a problem. One problem we had was what guess should we start with? We tried one, seemed to work pretty well. But how do we know when we're finished? Well, we seem to have not solved that yet because we still can't compute the square root of two without this thing running forever. But nonetheless, let's move on to a special case called cube roots. So here's how you compute a cube root. Iteratively refine a guess x about the cube root of a using the following update. x equals two times x plus a over x squared all divided by 3. Wow, so a lot of this is familiar. To compute a cube root, I also set x to some initial guess. Now while x cubed isn't the a that I'm looking for, I update using the cube root update, which depends on x and a, and then I return x. And what is that cube root update? Well, it's this much less famous formula because cube roots just aren't as important as square roots. Uh, and it goes return 2 times x plus a divided by x squared, all divided by 3. OK, so the cube root of 27 should be 3. And then 729 should be 9. Excellent. But we have some of the same problems. So if I try to compute the cube root of 4, it's just going to run forever. So let's solve both of these problems at the same time by generalizing over what's repeated in cube root and square root. And we'll do that by writing a function called improve, which takes an update function, it takes a close function, and an initial guess. And what does it do? Well, while the guess is not close enough, 
I'm going to update the guess with the update function. And eventually I'll return the guess. So this is a very generic way of saying I'm going to try doing something over and over again until I'm satisfied. We can also come up with a general notion of satisfaction by writing a function for approximate equality. So that will solve our problem that we can only get so close to the square root of 2. By saying that numbers are basically equal or approximately equal as long as their difference is within some small tolerance. And here I'll use 10 to the negative 15th. So that's a very small number. So what does this do? Well, it returns the absolute value of x minus y is less than tolerance. So x and y have to be within tolerance of each other for this to be true. OK, what have I done? I've defined approximate equality, which will tell me that 2 is actually different from 2.00000001. But if I stick enough zeros in there, then it'll say, yeah, close enough. That's true. OK, what's next? Well, now we want to rewrite square root in terms of improvement so that we can generalize over issues like, are we close enough? How many times should we run? So let's just rewrite square root. And we'll do it by defining an update function, which returns square root update wah, of x and a. And we'll define a close function, which returns whether x times x is approximately equal to a. And then taking a square root will actually involve just improving an initial guess, which is a default of 1, using the update function and the close function that I just defined. We can get rid of this square root. So now we can take the square root of 4, just as we always did, the square root of 16, as we always did. But now we should be able to take the square root of 2 as well, because this times this while not equaling 2, is at least approximately equal to 2. And therefore, it concludes. Likewise, I can rewrite cube root. Let's use lambda expressions to define the update and close functions. So we're going to return the result of improving an initial guess where the update function calls cube root update on x and a. And the close function tells us whether x times x times x is approximately equal to a. And uh, I can delete this. So now I should be able to compute the cube root of 27 and get 3. Or I can compute the cube root of 4, and it will terminate. Now, it turns out that this tolerance won't work for every single value. So if I try to take the cube root of 10, it will still run forever. A couple things I can do. I can change the tolerance to be a little bit more lax about what it means for two numbers to be equal, and then that will terminate. Or if I want to be as precise as possible most of the time, I could also change my implementation of improve to, for instance, only do at most 100 updates. So then I could count the updates. I could say, well, we're not close, and we haven't done too many updates. Then I should keep going. Otherwise, after 100 updates, I've gotten as close as I'm going to get, and I should stop. And that will also allow me to compute the cube root of 10 or anything else.